What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at Matty Fish 33 If you've been here before, thank you for coming back and joining us again. If you haven't, please like, subscribe, click that bell, get those notifications, share these videos, join us on this cichlid journey and invite others with you. Um, but, you know, I haven't talked about the big boy tank in almost two weeks, guys. It's kind of astounding to me as this is like the feature point of the channel to me. And for those of you that agree with that statement, I apologize. But we're going to do a quick little update on these guys. A midnight Sunday swim, if you will. Um, so, some things have been changing again. Um, Hierarchy-wise, that is. I have obviously our buco is getting quite large and has been moving himself up the hierarchy. But I've noticed something, guys. So I think that we have had a definite split and there are, it seems like, to be two different hierarchies in this tank. One thing I can tell you for sure, I am fairly certain that Big Dolph Lundy here, our blue dolphin, has bossed back up. And that is a good thing for this tank because when he is on fire, our tangerine tiger tends to fire up. He's a little down right now, but that is because V, our VC tent, has really stolen his thunder this time. And my goodness, look at him. I don't know if anybody saw the short. Oh my gosh, everybody made me fade out there. Um, I don't know if anybody saw the short the other day, but he is looking just as stunning and brilliant as he did the other day when I filmed that short of him. But back to the two hierarchy theory that I'm talking about here. So I've noticed something, right? So our our slender, larger fish seem to have their own hierarchy in this sense. Also, you know, I think, <laughs> I've said this before, everybody kind of lets this guy, Richard, our beautiful Obi, think he is the boss, hence the name Richard, if you can guess what that is short for, as we do not say those words on YouTube, but, um, you know, right now I think Dolph is our boss, I think our VC10V is number two, and then probably followed by our Star Sapphire, Star Lord here, and um, our Tangerine Tiger is up there as well. Again, he's a little muted because it's it, like him and the VC-10, they kind of just trade spots in that sense. Now our other hierarchy that's going on, this guy kind of bossed himself for a while. That's Baloo, our Electric Blue Ali. However, he is part of this secondary hierarchy in that sense. And that secondary hierarchy is going to go as the following from what I can see. This would be our Bucochromus Leptoris Green at number two, or at number one there. Kobe, the Malawi Mamba, our Malawi Hawk, pulling in at number two in that grouping. And then also we have Baloo as part of that grouping. And we also have old red here who's really kind of brought himself back from the dead so to speak color wise um, and fired back up so and then our silo tilapia is also part of that grouping as well you know it's interesting I, I really do believe there are two different hierarchies going on in this tank right now there might even be three in that sense because again there are a couple of female fish in this tank which haven't been an issue yet but my god look at how stunning our VC 10 has become it is really amazing to me. And one thing that I'm going to point out to you guys where I can see, like, these guys that are displaying a lot of dominance right now. <clears throat> so, Dolph's got a little bit, but you see how dark his fins are underneath? He was even more so yesterday. Maybe V has kind of overtaken him because look at this. V's throat earlier was almost completely black. You can see it's still very dark. Um, and his pectoral fins are black. So he's really, really feeling himself right now in that sense. Um, and then our Buko and our Hawk. Where did Kobe go? There he is um, for that other hierarchy. Our Hawk, Kobe, really starting to get some nice colors coming out on the back end. Some of his reds and oranges are coming in. We might see a full color out of him soon, guys, and I hope so, you know that would be amazing to see um, but this tank 
lot of lot of things going on in this hierarchy. Um, we have our Copadichromus who is been separated for a little bit to grow a little bit in our three spot um, Exogenus Anachromus that will be coming back to this tank eventually, um, probably sooner than later because they're both doing pretty well and growing. Um, but I'm going to bring them back together so that we don't have any issues and disruption in that sense with a solo fish going back in. Guys, you always want to add more than one fish if you can, um, especially once your hierarchy has really been established and these guys have been colored up or, you know, some are adults or are really approaching that adult status in that sense. <clears throat> one thing that I am going to do too very soon um so obviously flair here our red fin borier is a known female um has not been an issue our venustus more than likely is also female um i have to vent but i'm gonna say at this size we're, we're approaching seven inches if not already larger than seven inches um and no blue face so unless it's very incognito i would assume it's a male i've seen or a female excuse me i've seen her bossing around a bit these large females will stick up for themselves and they will find their place in the hierarchy and if nobody in my experience if nobody else in the tank is really interested in these females it's generally not an issue unless somebody decides they want to breed um, the other suspected female might be this Rostratus here. Um, we're going to go ahead and vent this fish eventually too here very soon. And I'll let you guys know if our Venustus and our Rostratus are both female as well. Um, <clears throat> Rostratus, maybe, maybe it's a male. It's hard to say. This fish is pushing six or so inches too. But they're very, 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 very late bloomers in that sense. Um, we'll just have to see there. We're going to have to vent at this point. And if anybody's wondering, this mark, well, of course the fish turns the other. Okay, so this mark right here, um, this fish is just fine, I promise you. It's had it for a long, 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 long time. I, I honestly, I don't know if it had it when I got it. Or if when it was in tank, when it was much smaller, when I first got it, when it was maybe an inch and a half, two inches long, um, there were some larger clown loaches in there, and I'm wondering if that's where that came from, and it obviously since healed. Um, but, you know, otherwise, it's an anomaly, but it doesn't seem to affect the fish. Um, this fish has been just fine for the longest, living its best life, just like the rest of these guys in this tank. Um, but again, guys, be on the lookout um, for some new content coming up with our other tanks and our other systems. Um, we did just drop a video with a new fish or with new fish in the cube aquarium that are going to grow out in there. And then there's a couple other fish that we have to add and then we're going to call that good. Um, we redid our Umbuna Victorian hardscape and it is now Umbuna Mountain so if you haven't seen that yet go check that out um, but we're going to start you know bringing these guys back to the forefront um, we also did our feature video on our snowball Sokolfi cichlid which needs a name a couple people have commented down below but I was hoping we'd get a few more suggestions so if you haven't yet go check that video out Comment a name suggestion down below, and we're going to take a poll and get that fish named. Um, also, while we're at it, guys, before I end this video, let me know who you would like to see a fish feature on in this video that I haven't done a fish feature on yet. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to get there. And also, our Red Emperor is finally starting to show some decent color. We'll kind of see... And for those of you that are going to say, oh, well, that might not be a Red Empress. Well, no, it, it is. It's just like the true version of a Red Empress, the wild-caught version. This is an F1, um, and it had wild parents. Um, it's not, you know, your typical, like, line-bred Super Red Empress where it's going to get more red. These actually have more blues um, than reds, but eventually it will develop that red burst once it gets much larger. Even though this fish is already quite large, we're pushing probably six inches with this guy as well. So, that being said, guys, 
comment down below your thoughts on everything that I just said. Tell me if you think I'm correct that there are multiple hierarchies in this tank. And let me know what you would like to see for the next fish feature. And help us get that Snowball Sokol fee named, guys. Power to you. Power to the people. I will see you guys in the next video. Matty Fish, out.